Kite Tenjo deck with Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. The deck recently received new support. Also, recently it reran the event, so many of you have unlocked Kite Tenjo for the first time. Let's play with Photon Orbital Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Do not say or do anything. Sacrifice yourself for me in heart. Quiet. Very quiet. Let's go! Are you ready to raid? A dark and epic fantasy adventure with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions blessed with unique skills. You could build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. What I love about this game is its epic bosses and the graphics are absolutely amazing. Like Avila, she's a great example of succumbing to temptation. She found an ancient hedge that promised her dark magic in exchange for souls. She harvested so many and got so strong that not even the Arbiter could kill her, so she got locked away instead. To keep yourself from getting harvested, use abilities that strip or steal her buffs. And this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities. We're talking about special fusion events to get the brand new legendary champion, tournaments against other players, and much, much more. They're also releasing five new amazing champions and each of them look incredible. I can't wait to try them out for myself. There's also a huge new update coming at the start of the next month, too. There's really never been a better time to get started in Raid. If you want to get a huge start, all you need to do is hit the link in my description below or scan the QR code right here. New players will get an epic hero, Kronuru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower. Also, 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and the one ancient shard so you could summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. You will find the extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Download Raid using my link in the description below and I'll see you in game. We're going to be very quick with this review. Photon Orbital, it's new. Why use it? You can equip it onto a Photon. It gives it 500 attack, but we don't care about that. We care about detaching it as an equip to search your deck for a Photon monster. So you could search any of the Photon monsters to help with your combo, but if you already have the combo to summon your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, what you should use it for is to search for a Cerberus. If you normal summon Cerberus, it doesn't activate, it doesn't trigger, it's right away just like a Jinzo. For that turn, your opponent cannot activate traps. That is amazing. You could easily normal summon this alongside your photons to then go in for lethal. So normally you're probably gonna special summon a Thrasher, then special summon your Vanisher. You're going to exceed into the Lord Galaxion. Lord Galaxion's gonna detach two to summon a Photon Dragon from the deck. You're gonna have the Star Liege plus the Photon Galaxy plus a normal summon Cerberus, which you search for with the Orbital. And just like that, they cannot activate the back row and you're going in for lethal. Now the skill is gonna help you perform your lethals or have a good turn one play. You're going to return a Photon Monster back in the deck to search for the Stream, a Galaxy Cyclone, or an Eternal Galaxy. That is going to be the way. If you're going second, Galaxy Cyclone, pop their back. If you're going first, grab the Photon Stream. This allows you to banish any card in the field while you control your Photon Dragon. Also, if you're going first, if you have a Stream already and you want another card, you could grab an Eternal Galaxy. Eternal Galaxy will turn your Star Liege into a 4,500 attack monster. That is nuts. Now, very quickly, let me tell you, with most of my deck builds, unless I write optimal in the title. So let's quickly look at that real quick. Dual Links meta optimal. All right. These are optimal deck lists if this actually worked and showed optimal and did not just show random decks. Thank you so much. So you do want to click on the channel and search the word optimal, not in the actual search of the regular YouTube. Optimal. This within a few months of the release is optimal builds. When I write optimal, for example, top tier optimal Gaia, that is the true optimal way. Does that mean my decks outside of optimal are not the way? No, they are the way, but it's mainly the core. I'm showing off the core of the deck. So if you want an optimal 
version of Photon. It's going to be the cards that we all like to hate on, right? It's going to be something like this. Che, thank you for this. It's going to be Book of Moon. You're sick of seeing Book of Moon. I don't want to keep highlighting Book of Moon. It's great. You want to play Chalice instead. If you don't have Book of Moon, that's a great replacement. Treacherous Trap Hole. I don't want to play duels where I'm winning with Treacherous. I want to actually win with my own cards. So it's kind of like a gentleman agreement where I shake my opponent's hand and I say, hey, I'm going to clap you without the top tier tech cards. I'm just going to use the core of the deck. So I can actually showcase the combos, the plays, teach you, use the brand new cards like Photon Orbital. That is the way. Let's get to it. Fools. Let's go. From my hand, I, I activate the spell card into the void. I come out into the void, into the void. Shell of a ghost. What? I end my turn. Time to hunt. If I draw. Time to hunt, mate. Give me a galaxy cyclone. From my head, galaxy. I activate my spell card. The middle. Always the middle. Whoa, we could have barriered that. While you control no monsters. If a photons photons in the field, you can smash some in this. Thrash in bash. Normal summon Cerberus. <laughs> During the card, this is normal summon. Neither player can activate trap cards while this card's face up in the fields. But didn't he have something activatable? That means he does not have a trap. What the hell? You got Book of Moon, mate. I'm playing Cerberus for no reason. You're going to book me? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I hate playing both of these because they look the same. I'll be summoning the wrong one just based off the picture. He's got Book of Moon. I can't believe this. I freaking summon a Photon Cerberus and he's got a Book of Moon. Wait, he's not activating it. He doesn't, he don't got Book of Moon. No book, no book. Cutscene. You know, I think it is. I think it's a flute. It's a freaking flute. It's a flute, mate. It's a flute, mate. It's got to be a flute, right? Oh, it is a book. Why didn't you book my exceed, you dummy? Oh, my Jesus. He wants me to destroy him. Okay, I'm not. Jake's on you, mate. You have a freaking launcher that does nothing. <laughs> I wonder what that set card is. What the what the heck is that set card, mate? What the heck is that set card, mate? You're a photon, right? No, this is a photon. Say hello, Say hello to my photon advancer, mate. Let's go. Trash. <laughs> Get out of here with your book of money. Lizard. Photon Thrash. Vanisher. Returner. Now, this is a really cool trick. I learned this in the TCG, okay? You have to pay very close attention. You grab the Photon Stream of Destruction. Then you set something else. Let's go. Lord Galaxion. I feel the overlay network. Rise up. Starly's Lord Galaxion. I can use Galaxion. Detach. It's to its Let's go. Why no Tretch? Because Tretch is for you, May. I don't need it to win. I'm here to showcase decks and teach you to play and entertain you. It's not very entertaining. It's not very educational for me to just win with Treacherous, okay? That would be an invalid duel if I win with Treacherous. That wastes my time, all right? So if I can, I don't want to play Treacherous, but I'm not telling you to not play it because you need it. 
Let's legally cheat. Look at the hourglass. Pass. All right. Let's go. Sam Skull, mate. So when do I get my Cerberus? The orbital can search it, right? <laughs> Triple set. Another thing I learned in the TCG is that players set their favorite card first. Bunnies. Woo, goodbye to that Ballista. <sighs> Orbital. Quiet, quiet, quiet. No music. Quiet. Do not say or do anything. Sacrifice yourself for me in heart. Quiet. Very quiet. Let's go! Cerberus! <laughs> you cannot activate your traps, mate! Too late! Pop it! Oh my, what a fool! Got him! Holy moly! What a giant fool! <laughs> yes! By summoning the Cerberus, it's an instant Jinzo. Ow. Instant Don't Jinzo. You feel sorry for me. You need more heart if you want to defeat me. Go. Go, 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 go. Photon Vanisher. We are going to Galaxion. I feel like I want three of the purple guy. Three Vanisher feels pretty good. Galaxy Photon. Nice. Set the non Photon Galaxy. What? Oh, oh, I thought his first part could be activated. Cutscene. DMAC Riz says, use Lizard to search Orbital, then Orbital. Okay, Orbital can thin out the deck by searching another monster. Yeah, well, we want Orbital to search for Cerberus. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let go of the priority, mate. All right. Oh, Triforce Tops. So look at the hourglass, legally cheat, pass. He's got nothing activated on his hand. That means he has no Thunder Dragon Dark. No Thunder Dragon Dark. No quick play. He's got regular Thunder Dragon. That's okay. Why only two stream? You could search it. If you want to play more, that's fine. Okay. Let's go, Yugi. I want you to understand that I give you the base to do well with the deck. Up here is how well you could actually do if you start putting in your Book of Moons, your Treacherouses, whatever you want. But at the base, I'm giving you a core, a core way to play the deck. I want you to be able to look at my deck and go, oh, I'm missing this, this, and that. And I go, great. You get to put in other cards that you want to. Because I'm not showing, this is not the optimal build. If you want me to build an optimal build, it's going to have Treacherous. It's going to have Book of Moon. I'm showing you the base. Drop the base. Exit Beetle. Whoa. What the... You could target one monster in either player's graveyard. Equip that to this target. It gains. I think we just photon stream them right away. Vanish. I like Cerberus. It's a really cool idea. Woo, just two. Just two. Just two. We're good. We're good. 
Now, a cool trick to check for quick plays and effects, for example, if maybe he had an enemy controller or a Book of Moon in his hand, obviously he's Thunder Dragon, so he doesn't, but it's a good exercise is to toggle on, pass, and then you look at the hourglass. If it turned on, it did not. You get to see he has a quick play. All right. Let's go. It's over, Yugi. I have the high ground. That's right, you're done. That's right, you're done. What the hell? He literally could be playing a random drowning. Whoa, Orbital gives a plus 500 boost? Cerberus. <laughs> Cer Cerberus. No way. Literally. Exact game. That's insane. What? Try force tops. None of these could add back. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's battle. Let's go. Neo Galaxy Eyes. Mm. It's not over yet. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. I can exactly what I was waiting for. Oh, 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 oh. My monster's effect activates. The trap is negated. We're gonna search where the trap is. <laughs> he cannot activate it. Oh, this deck is nuts. Let's go. Let's go. Never forget the name of the hunter who defeated you. Now, stick with me, YouTube. We're going to check the deck to see what trap we negated. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We negated a jelly cannon. <laughs> a jelly cannon, mate. <laughs>